Hi, I'm Jacob Aldridge, Director of Advisory at Business Depot. We're talking here today about sales, but specifically the topic of getting more contacts into your sales hourglass. Sales is a topic that comes up with so many of the small and medium sized business owners I talk to. And yet when we get down to it, it's really not sales that they've challenged with, it's getting more relationships. Once these people are in that sales hourglass, they do an amazing job of, of engaging them with a great brand promise and converting them to being clients. They just need more coming in. So I run them through this exercise to look at the five attractants and encourage you to think about your business and which of these five you may or may not be doing to attract more customers in. Number one is extending your existing client base. When you look at the clients that you're currently servicing, is there a way to generate more revenue out of them? The simplest might be uh, uh, increasing your fees, uh, which most business owners are reluctant to do too often, but it could be that there are other products that these customers are buying or want to be buying that you could be selling them. And the easiest customer to sell to is somebody who already knows you, likes you and trusts you. The second of the five attractants is getting referrals from those existing clients. Again, these are people who know you, like you and trust you. Why wouldn't they want to tell their friends about you? And if they're great clients, then chances are the people that they know would also be great clients. Have you asked your clients for referrals and introductions? If not, why not? The third is marketing. This is where you sometimes start to have to spend a little bit more money in order to generate people in as contacts. Getting great marketing support is worth its weight in gold because there's an awful lot of opportunities out there for marketing. Some are more expensive than others and the old adage that half of my marketing dollars are wasted, I just don't know which half, has never been more applicable than it is today. Four, and while these aren't in any particular order of importance, I find the further through the five we go, the more difficult these are for a business owner to choose to invest in because they take more time. Four is building strategic referral channels, not just people who already know you and like you and will reactively send you a referral when asked. These are people who will go out of their way because it's in their best interest to send you clients. It takes time to build that level of relationship. And really, when you build that well, you don't need hundreds of these people running around. If you've got a small number of referral channels who are out there actively promoting your business, you start filling up the top of your hourglass and you'll start filling it up with ideal clients which are much easier to convert and much more profitable. Lastly, scaled traction. What are some of the activities that you could be doing to get you and your business in front of a whole range of people? A simple example, something like uh, presenting at events or running a, a, a giant podcast or video. The kind of things that instead of getting in front of one person at a time, get in front of 100, 500 or 1,000. And I use the word traction there quite deliberately in reference to an excellent book called Traction that I recommend to most business owners who are having this challenge. The key takeaway from that book, which I'd encourage you to think about when you think about this topic, is that the strategies that work for your business today are not necessarily the strategies that are going to work for your business in the future. If you're just in startup, the first one client, the first 10 clients coming in is where you need to focus. But once you've been in business for a long time, you've got to go out there and do activities that bring them in 20, 50, 100 or 1,000 at a time. And that means you need to start looking for more scaled opportunities. Wherever your business is in its journey, if finding more contacts at the top of your hourglass is what to do, then think about which one or two of these you're going to focus on now and which ones you're going to focus on in the future. I wish you the best of luck.